Hello and welcome back to another video. Now today we will talk about Hyrgon. He is a warrior, which means he gets bonus might, skill points and deals more physical damage, which is very nice. Also it helps a lot uh, if you want to skill him. He's also a tip master, which as we know from previous videos is a bad trait to have. But he's one of the more useful ones. So. I use him as a tip slave, as you can see, but it's not completely true. I use him as a different kind of tip slave. But it, because I skill Herald, I did skill Herald and logistics and march. So he got bonus march speed and, and this is the important point, he gets bonus siege damage. I personally love that because sieging down building is hard in the early game and I like it that way. So. As you always, we will always talk about respect level one first. That's what I do. But if you want to deal, if you want him to deal damage, you go for devotion. You max out cleave. You max out Janet. He does damage, and his units are rather fast and tanky. If you want him to be faster, then you go for herald, complete that, and go for march army speed as high as possible. Then he should be very fast and deal a little bit, a little bit of damage. If you got him at respect level 3, you can get red arrow, which means your units recover percentual HP and you will deal more damage, which is modified by speed stats, which is also nice because you get a lot of speed for him if you want to. Yeah, but it has a two round cooldown, but it's still nice, whatever. You can go for reinforcement, which is a very useful skill in my opinion, because you get in round 7 and from round 7 on you can get a recovery heal for units which means you can recover very much units in the later stages of the fight which is nice and you can go for phalanx which means that your melee units receive less physical damage if you reach level 5 whatever he can avoid the first instances instances of damage or if you max it out you can go for the first two instances of damage. Is this a good buff? No, because you get a chance to avoid damage and some units and some commanders can go around that. For example, the March Wardens, if you fight against, war against March Wardens, which are the Elven T4 unit, you will receive the damage, you can't avoid that. Also, he got collaboration, which is nice because he deals more physical damage and defense stance, which means he deals damage and the next damage one of your allied melee units get is less. And this is modified by the might stat. So, how to skill him right? Let's say we got him at respect level 5. I personally would go for devotion would max out Cleave, would max out Jaland. Then I would go for the red, red Arrow because I liked it very much. Then I guess for Phalanx and Reinforcement. So we take less damage with physical units and we can recover. And then I maybe would go for... I guess if I got points left I would go for Warden because your chances get higher and you might be able to dodge damage in some fights but it's not the best option. <sighs> is he good? No. Hyrgon is not good. If you have him it's nice. As I said in my army his place is clear. I use him as a tip slave with bonus siege damage and fast as fuck. So I just try to get him near the battlefield with Herald, bonus march speed, bonus army siege, devotion, and then I will go for might and speed. So I'll be fast on my way to the battlefield and then I will just siege down whatever stands there. So that's it for today, folks. See you around for next time. Be sure to like and subscribe and maybe tell your opinion of about here on. Maybe you know something I do not. Yeah, let us know in the comments. See you around, guys.